In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the split rings and the slide edges tools inside of 3D Coats Retopology Workspace. The split rings tool is very straightforward. Once you hover over an edge ring, you can move your cursor about to see a preview of where it's going to apply an edge loop once you click on the mesh. So let's say if I wanted to reinforce some of the hard edges on a model, like right here, and just click and make short work of adding extra geometry right where I need it. Okay, one on the inside. Now there's an additional little option here if you need a specified distance between edge loops such as 50%, 75%, and so on what you can do is hover in between the two loops and then hit the spacebar. So let's say if I wanted it to be perfectly halfway, I would want to type in 0.5. And 3D Coat is going to place that exactly halfway between these two edge loops. I can do the same thing here. Even if my cursor is not halfway in between, still I can hit the spacebar type the value in, and there you have it. The next thing we're going to look at is the slide edges tool. I can slide a single edge by default or hold down the control key and you'll see a highlighted preview. This way I can slide entire loop. And all the while when using split rings and slide edges 3D coat is going to snap or it's going to keep your geometry glued to the surface as you move it along. Also I want to point out that when you use slide edges, 3D coat will typically stop at five or three point intersections. Okay, so for example, if I hold on the control key, you can see it's going to stop right here. Okay. Another thing I should point out is this tool works a bit differently on different shaped surfaces. For example, if I wanted to slide this entire loop closer inward, you'll notice when I hold down the control key and try to drag it toward the center of the knee, it's a little bit wonky. And 3D Coat is not quite sure what I'm wanting to do here, how I'm wanting to move this. So let's move to a side angle and try the very same thing. I'll pull down the control key and drag toward the very center. And now I can inspect the result. That's more like what I wanted. So I can do the same thing here again. It's going to be a little bit wonky if I try to do it straight on. So I'll undo that. Go to a side angle. That's much better. I should mention that this is mostly applicable whenever you're trying to slide edges on a surface that's very close to being planar. However, if you're working on a surface that is rather elongated like this around the gas mask, then that doesn't necessarily apply. You can slide it equally from just about any angle. Okay, so with that, we will conclude this look at the split rings and a slide edges tools inside of 3D Coats Retopable Workspace. Hope you found it helpful, and we will see you in the next video.